We ain't really about no drama We ain't really about no hype We dancing on the windowsill Yeah We celebrated up on every level Get props from the guys and the devils Dressing not black like I'm about to go meta You should know that I rock I ain't talking about pebbles I've been ready from the jump Every day a slam dunk Keep my chakra on point That's an elephant tusk And I never give up Yeah, I put that on my fam Got a lot to live up So I hope you understand Yeah Yo, what's up? It's Zilly here from Black Alack, and I'm here to show you Roland's Verse Lab MV1, an amazing songwriting machine for the modern music maker. Let's check it out by making a song. We trying to live all this life. Verse Lab's workflow strip will guide you step by step through the process. First, in sequence mode, we'll program individual clips that will make up the sections of the song. Once you've created your sections, you can then arrange them into a song structure, add vocals, and mix it all down. To customize your sound selection, you can also dig into over 3,000 plus onboard Zencore sounds or get genre-based sound packs directly from Rolling Cloud. To begin our song, we'll start in sequence mode to create the building blocks of the song sections, known as clips. For our tracks, we have drums on the top row. We have kick, snare, hi-hat, and then of course, a full kit with totally different sounds. And on the bottom row, we have our melodic tracks, bass, two instruments, and then finally a dedicated vocal track. There's also 16 large pads for playing live and a 16 step sequencer for programming. I can use the kick track to play tune 808 sounds across the 16 pads, or play straight kick patterns to work with my bass track. Let's record something. Next I'll program some hi-hats with style mode to create a dope pattern on the fly. When you're on a drum track in style mode, pressing the pads plays 16 different preset patterns. Let's record this one. If I want to add some detail to my programming, I can automate changes using motion record right here. I'll record pitch shift to my hi-hat pattern. Next, I'll quickly jump over to the snare track and that hits on the fifth and 13th step of my step sequencer to give it that backbeat. Then we'll move over to the full kit track where each pad has a different sound. I'll duplicate the kit clip to add some hits on the second measure for variety. Then I can use a sub-step function to create some rolling hits on step 14. I can also edit the velocity of each of my notes so the level sits better in the mix. Let's lay in some parts for my melodic tracks starting with the bass. Next, I'll add a melody on instrument one by playing live on the pads. I'll make this clip four measures so I can add some more variation to this section. I can also use style mode on any melodic track to arpeggiate patterns. Let me add a bit to my melody. Finally, I'll go to instrument two to layer a different sound using the chord function. Now each pad plays a chord. And just like that, I've got the foundation of a song. Next, we'll move to section on the workflow strip where we can prep the sections to place in the song later. Sections can be things like intro, outro, verse, chorus, bridge. We'll use song mode to arrange these into a structure later. But first, we'll need more sections to make the song interesting. We can make new sections from scratch, but let's try a different approach by making copies of the main section and then changing them enough to keep the song flowing. First, I'll copy my existing section and repeat four times. Now we have four identical sections. I'm gonna make some simple changes to each copied section, editing this quickly by jumping back to sequence mode. 
On this section, I'll remove all of the drums. Here, I'll take out bass and instrument one, and so on. Now, going back to section mode, I can preview each section to hear the results. In this mode, we can also modify each section. You can change the color or the section length and measures. I'll make my first section two measures. I'll make my second section four measures. My third, four measures. And my last one will stay eight. That's gonna be our hook. Now that we've created our sections, let's check out VerseLab's easy to use song mode. We can select each section on the pads and lay them across the step sequencer. Time for some mic work. In song mode, let's switch to the vocal track. We have 16 takes to choose from all laid out on the 4x4 pads. Let's first do some intro overdubs using the vocal processor. We can choose from a ton of effects including auto pitch, harmonizer, doubler, and enhancer. There's also vocal processor patches we can audition to save us some time. Auto pitch, double track. Let's go with radio. When we're ready, press any of the 16 pads to select the first take, and then select the song section where you want to record. Let's drop the intro. Uh, yeah, yeah. Intro done. Now let's drop the verse. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Am I tripping? Shorty thought I was different. Had me catching feelings, but really I wasn't fishing. She a baddie though. Range Rovers over caddies, bro. Flip the whip in Malibu, but park it in the valley, yo. Let's go. Birkin bag flagging with some red on the toe. She designed to everything. I think she live on Melrose. Keep it booking. Ain't no rookie. She be throwing nail bows. I know she is a, yeah, I know she is a real one. All right, now let's drop the hook on a different vocal take. We'll go for three and we'll use a different vocal processor. Let's use the double track. Check, check. Real one, we about to find out. Uh, she said she a real one, yeah, but I got my doubts. Uh, she said she a real one, uh, we about to find out. Yeah, she said she a real one, uh, she don't chase no clout. We can copy and paste any of these takes throughout the song, saving us from having to re-record. I'm gonna take the hook track, and I'm gonna copy it over to the other hook sections. Real one, real one. Let's test it out. Real one, we about to find. Done. Once the song is all laid out and we recorded our vocals, we can switch to mixing mode to get all of our tracks sitting right with each other. We can access EQ, level, panning, and effect sends all from this mode. Let's add some mastering effects like multi-band compression, five-band EQ, and limiting to make it really bump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh. Am I tripping? Shorty thought I was different. Uh. Had me catching feelings, but really I wasn't fishing. She a baddie though. When we're all done, just press mix down to bounce your song to a file we can upload to social channels like SoundCloud or music platforms like Bandcamp using a mobile device or your SD card. Melrose, keep it booking, ain't no rookie. She be and there you go. We've used Verse Lab to create a beat, record a vocal, and bring everything together to create a full song quickly and easily. For more information about Verse Lab MV1, visit Roland.com. She said she a real one.